there. Welcome back to Dance Colleges and Careers, the podcast for dancers and your parents to help you navigate that college application process. My name is Brittany Noltemeyer. I am your host and I have been in your shoes. So I'm here to help you have a better experience your junior and senior year and get into your dream college. Our first point today is research. Start by researching different dance colleges and their programs. Look for schools that offer the type of dance you're interested in. Are you a ballet dancer or contemporary dancer or jazz, hip hop, tap? What are you, what do you currently do? What do you currently love? I grew up a competition dancer, uh, musical theater, jazz, tap was my jam. So I made sure that I went to a college that their main focus wasn't modern dance. Modern dance is wonderful, but for me, it's just not my style. I'm a theater kid, okay? I'm a theater kid, so that's really what I was looking for, and that's why I went to Oklahoma City University, because they have a dance program that specializes in musical theater training. Second point is location. Where do you see yourself living in your future? This is going to be your home for the next four years. So consider the location of the college. Think about factors like climate, proximity to dance studios, and the cost of living. For me, I was hoping for climate, but mine was really about the school. First priority was school. Secondary was climate. Because, well, I came from North Dakota where the other day it was negative 70 I'm not lying. The wind chill was negative seven zero. And so for to go to a warmer climate, that's, that was very exciting. I remember one day we had a snow day and there was a half an inch of snow. I was like, come on. But hey, we had a great fun snow day. Got a day off of school. You gotta love that. The third point is programs. Look into the specific dance programs offered by each college. Compare curriculum faculty, and performance opportunities. Faculty. Look at the faculty. Find someone that you admire, you look up to. You could see yourself following their steps because that's what we're doing, right? We are taking that those stair steps to that future that we want to be. And if you have faculty there who you admire, you look up to, who you could see yourself in, then they are a lot more likely to be able to help you on your journey because they've been there before and they've already done what you want to do. Our fourth point is to visit the campus. If if that's re- realistic for you, go visit the campus or you can visit some other schools to start to understand what they have to offer, what you like, what you don't like, you know, if some are too far away. But when you're visiting the campus, it's the best idea to see the dance classes. Okay, school is one thing, but you're going to be spending a majority of your time in that dance building. So what are the what is the vibe of the dance class? Do you do you vibe with it? And can you see yourself in that class? Can you see yourself thriving in that class or will you feel severe pushback because it's not what you grew up with and kind of way outside of your realm of what you can see yourself doing or maybe where your strengths lie? All right, you've done your research, you have a little idea of location where you could picture yourself living for the next four years, you kind of understand that your style and what type of future you're starting to want to create. Now it's time to look at that financial aid. Yeah, this is the big one, Um, but I would narrow it down first before you start doing this research because it is a lot of work. So now it's time to look at what scholarships they offer academically and talent scholarships as well. What is available at each college and how are they going to help you with tuition costs? You are living in a digital world, a digital age where you can get answers like that. So now you need to go to the source. Okay, you've done your research, you've looked it up, you've looked at all the pictures on the internet. Go to the students, go to current students or maybe alumni and just find them on social media. You know, that's not hard to do. Just Google it. Look at some of their videos of a day in the life of a dancer at this particular school and just 
watch it. Get if if somebody's posting a video like that, they are wanting you to reach out and they want to help you, right? That's that's the type of content they're creating because they love with it where they are in their journey and they want to share that with you. So all you have to do is message them, right? Message them, say, hey, I see you're at this school. I'm really interested in attending. I just wanted to get some genuine feedback and to see if it might be a good fit for me. People would be thrilled to help you. People love to help, right? People people love to share their expertise, their experience, and to help you find yours. And you never know, you might go to that school next year, meet the person you reached out to on social media, and become best friends. Hey, or at least already know one person before you've stepped on campus. Like a, it's like a it's like an old school pen pal. <laughs> So next to auditions, we've talked about auditions in several other videos, but it is really important to to find out about audition requirements and dates for each college's dance program. Look at the dates. Even if you're like a freshman or a sophomore, look at the dates because it's likely they'll be similar in the next two years, right? If auditions are in October and January, they're probably always around that time. And it's just things to keep in mind as you're starting to plan out the plan out your college success that's what i would do so a reminder that right now we're talking about choosing the right dance college for you and where to begin so that is a pretty good start for you you do your research think about location discover the different programs out there and what you could see yourself in because competition dance is not a major in case you weren't aware So your your world might be rocked a little bit. Visit the campuses if you can. Check on financial aid and scholarship opportunities. Talk to current students and look at those audition requirements. I hope this is a good start for you to be able to navigate your college application process. And I wish you the best of luck in getting into your dream school.